Hi, so this is my Equagenera haul that I was waiting for, patiently waiting because Equagenera does not send plants to Canada very often. I've ordered them a while ago, but um, I only got them now. They had shipment to Toronto and then from Toronto, um, a person, a representative sent it to Ottawa. So I got them just now and I opened the box and um, took them out so you don't have to, wouldn't have to watch me fighting with all the tape. <clears throat> and yeah, they're my five plants. As I said, there are three miniatures and two not so miniatures. And I actually went to Aquagenera list to get some miniature orchids because I wanted to get something particular. I wanted Saffronitis because I lost my Cernoa that I got from Rasktsal and I really liked it. I liked the, uh, the blooms and the color and the fact that it's really tiny but the blooms are pretty large compared to the plant. So I was actually searching for those uh, Saffronitis cattleyas and uh, Equagenera uh, list had some and then I added Dendrobium cutbertsonii, which I also wanted and I thought well it's a good time to get it but then I saw the Brassa cattleya Kiovi Mendenhall and this one was on my wish list for like forever I got into liking Brassa cattleya hybrids after watching lots of videos from Denise, Denise Orchid Paradise. I think she has lots of cattleyas of this particular type with brass wall in them where the, the, the flowers are large, striking and beautiful. And um, But they are not small plants, see? It's huge. This uh, Mendenhall, Kiobi. Um, so I knew that I could not have too many of them. And so I was searching for this particular hybrid because I really liked it. And uh, yeah, Equatinera had it in their list. There are several clones, named clones of this hybrid. This one is Mendenhall, but there's also Galaxy something. And uh, yeah, so I thought it's now or never. So I bought this one and then I saw this one here, it's, a, it's called Fuchs Star, which is a cross of Brassavola and Cattleya Maxima. And I'm a big fan of Cattleya Maxima and I thought this one will be gorgeous too. So that's how I ended up getting two, like in my miniatures haul, I got two not uh, so miniature plants. So uh, both of them look really great. Equagenera plants are always great size and robust. This one has buds, but one bud dropped in the shipping, unfortunately. I, I'm not sure if those two buds will survive. We'll see. Probably not, but plant has lots of firm roots. These roots are still hard and firm, see? So, um... Even if those buds don't survive, I think plant will adjust well here. And the second one here has a very low spike. So this one might actually survive, hopefully. So I might see the blooms and this one. Isn't that great to get the plants with the spikes? I'm loving it. Absolutely great. These two plants, Brassa, Brassa Carleas, they're awesome. And now the, the three actually miniatures, I like the way they are packed, see, in little cups. So they're not squished by larger plants. So let's see what's in there. So check out this one here is a Saffronitis. Cochinea Gigi crossed Cochinea. 
I think it looks great. See, there is a new growth there. Everything is firm. I think purple is just the uh, sun. You know, the sun freckles. Hopefully, it's all right. So that's uh, Saffronitis cognea. Now, here's the second cup. And the second cup contains Saffronitis bicolor. And look at the size difference. This one is like microscopic miniature. So cool. Also looks pretty good. Like I don't, um, I think roots will probably be damaged, but uh, the plants are great. I still don't know if I should mount them or put them up, so I'll have to think about it. But let's look at the third cup. And here is the third cup. This one is Dendrobium cutbertsonii, orange. There's the label, oh, wrong side. There's the label, cutbertsonii orange. And this one is also a very little microscopic miniature. It's so cool. So I, uh, I'm really excited about these three. They will fit nicely inside my tank. And... Uh, yeah, maybe I will see the blooms from them, hopefully. So those are my five plants from Aquagenera. I will um, I will need to figure out how I put them up, which media I will use, and uh, maybe I will mount some of those, or maybe not, maybe just little tiny clay pots for now, just to see how they adjust. So I'll show you them when they are potted. Hi, so this is next day morning. I finished clean and potting yesterday so late that I didn't have time to actually finish the video. So we're here today. And uh, I'll start with miniatures. This is the Saffronitis bicolor. And I decided to mount it because I could not find suitable pot for it. Even my tiniest clay pot looked like a giant bucket uh, for this plant. So I mounted it on this little piece, piece of uh, cork bark. Um, I actually put a small piece of moss and tied the plant on the top of it with a fishing line. When the roots will appear and grab onto cork bark, I will remove that fishing line. But for now it needs to be there just to keep the plant in place and I know that this plant likes high humidity <clears throat> and uh, a fair amount of light but for now it's in this shade from my crisis just because I want it to grow roots I don't want it to be too stressed uh, with too much light and um, I'm also going to water it with uh, rainwater the water that I use for my fragmentidiums because I think they don't like uh, uh, not very clean water. They like clean water. So that's with uh, my Saffronitis bicolor. I hope it'll grow well here. So cute. And this is what I did with my Tintrobium cutbersonii. And a closer inspection, it turns out that um, this these are two like main pseudobulbs in this all growth is are the keikis on one of those bulbs so i don't know is that a good thing bad thing i potted it into a sphagnum moss clay pot and sphagnum moss i'm i so like the leaves you know the texture the pattern are so interesting and so we'll see how it grows here this one cut bersonii orange yeah, they're different colors. If um, I like this plant so much, if um, if it grows well, I might buy other colors because it doesn't take much place. Look, it's so cute. And <clears throat> there was a third miniature plant, but unfortunately, it uh, it is a sick plant. It was a sick plant. It actually had a black rod all over the rhizome, 
and uh, even newest bulbs uh, were affected. So when I unwrapped it, uh, two newest bulbs actually broke. I took a picture. I show you the picture here. So yeah, that plant is no more because uh, I don't think it was sa savable. I tried to cut rhizome, try, uh, trying to find uh, at least a piece of the plant that does not have black inside, but it was all black, all black through and through. So, but Aquagenera is such a great vendor. I sent them the picture, this picture that you just saw. And they replied me right away. They offered me either money refund or a replacement plant with my next order. So, of course, I chose replacement plant because it would give me excuse to make one more order with them. And uh, there should be a shipment in July. So, hopefully, uh, I'll find something in their price list to get. And... Uh, I'll get the replacement Saffronitis um, Cochinea from, from Aquagenera. So those are miniatures that are in the tank. And um, there's still room, so I can, I think I'll hang those. Yeah, while uh, mounting the uh, Cattleya Saffronitis, I also mounted my little Lepanthus cross. It was it was in the moss, and I think it did not like it much, because at one point plant just dropped all the leaves, and uh, now it's recovering, and hopefully being mounted uh, will work better for this little plant. I don't know why it didn't uh, like uh, growing in the, in the pot, but uh, I'm going to try this method. That's what I did yesterday. So, uh, yeah, those are miniatures. Now let's look at the larger plants that I got from Aquagenera. Yeah, they both are reported and they found their place. So that's on the window. You can see my hook star. See how great those square pots are. Like you can stack them together and they fit my window sill just right. The size. So it's uh, standing beside my Cattleya trianae, trianae. and uh, the spike is still there. So let's hope that I will see the blooms on that spike. A book star, and here is the wonderful Kiovi Mendenhall. The buds are still there, but they might drop because they're too far advanced. They might drop because of the shipping and potting and all the stuff. And it's in a plastic pot in large archaeata mixed with large sponge rock. And I had to put it into that green cash pot because otherwise it would flip. The, the plastic pots are too light and the plant is too large and it's kind of lopsided so it would uh, fall down. And that green pot helps to hold it in place. So that was my Aquagenera haul. I'm really excited about these new plants. I don't know if they are easier to grow than Cattleya species. I, I hope uh, they are because they are hybrids after all. So they should be easier to keep alive. And I so hope to see the blooms on both of them. And um, please stay tuned for my Next order, which should include the replacement for Saffronitis. And uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.